Hey guys, and welcome to another video. I was scrolling the web a while back, and I saw one of these segmented log lamps. Now, doing some more research, I couldn't really find any how-to videos out there, because I wanted to make one. So I put together this video showing how I've made my own segmented log lamp. The first thing you want to do is find a piece of wood. Now I'm using cedar here, and the cool thing about this lamp is you could just go to your wood pile and grab a nice piece. I've gone ahead and laid out some pieces, so I'm going to make seven cuts, so it'll be seven pieces, and those are going to be three quarters of an inch thick. It doesn't matter where you place these cuts, but I like to have the base a little taller than the top. And we'll be cutting this with the miter saw, making sure it's clamped very tight to the back fence. If you do have a bandsaw, you can also use this. I used a thick saw on the clamp to make up for the irregular shape of this. Some of the material you're going to need is 3 16 stainless steel rod you could also use copper or brass. You're also going to need a Forstner bit, the same size of a lamp socket. And I went with an LED Edison style bulb. Final thing is you'll need a cord, obviously, and some of this lamp threaded rod. I don't know the actual name for it. Laying out where the lamp socket's going to be is up to you. Try to find center of this, and that's basically where we'll put it. As for the stainless steel rods, again, it's up to you, your preference. I'm using three, you could use four, you'd probably even use two rods. I just did two corners and one in the front. My piece is kind of laid out like a triangle, so that's kind of why I went with three. Now we'll take that piece we just marked out and put it on the drill press. And what I've done is, I should have mentioned this earlier, but I've marked each piece as it goes. So the base is 1B, um, and then it goes from there. The next piece will be 2, 3, 4, 5. And then the top, which is my 8th piece, I've labeled 8T. So we will just go down through all these pieces using the one above or below wherever you start as a template so they match up. And this is what I mean about using the piece before as a template. So you can see here I'm using six, using it as a template on seven. It makes sense. I didn't film the process of me drilling the holes out in the base because it would have made this video a lot longer and it's pretty straightforward. So what I've done is I've used the Forstner bit and drilled in the same depth as the lamp socket. So that way it will sit flush on the top. And I've drilled, I believe it's a 3 8 hole down the center and this will be where our rod will go down. And then we can get the cable up into the lamp socket itself. I have another lamp video I've made that goes into depth how to actually wire up this lamp socket if you're not comfortable doing this. Um, so I'll link that right here and it goes into depth how to wire up these lamp sockets if you're not familiar with electrical. Now the reason I actually use the threaded rod down the center is I can now put a nut on the back side, which would be the bottom, and it will actually hold everything together rather 
than like gluing it or it just floating in there. So that's why I've opted to go this route. You don't have to do that, but it makes a better product. Next, it's time for final assembly. I'm gonna start with putting the three rods into the top piece and we will layer all these pieces in pretty straightforward. I've gone ahead and cut some spacers, which I believe are three quarter inch thick. So I will just put that in just to get the proper spacing. Now I'm going to use CA glue to glue these pieces in place. You can also use epoxy, just dabbing the rod and wood where they connect. Once that's done, we can knock all the spacers out and we're ready to fully assemble. Now what I've done here is I've made the top removable from the base. So if this light goes out, you can replace it. So don't glue it together here. And that's the final product. Now leave a like or share a comment if you enjoyed this video and tell me what you think about this build. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe so you don't miss out on any future build videos. And as always, thanks for watching.